Basic Editing 101? Well, that pretty much says it all, folks. Hope it helps. Hello, people. This is Phil Chenevere, the video LibriVox guy type of thingy. I, um, someone asked me the other day, say, Phil, really, now, how do you basic edit? I don't want to know all the fancy-schmancy stuff. So I said I'll make a quick video called Basic Editing 101, and we're going to cover, um, noise reduction, cutting out the bad parts, and maybe uh, increasing volume a little bit, or decreasing volume. So let's start by listening to this one right here. As I was going up the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there today. No, no, he he wasn't there again today. I wish, I wish he'd go somewhere else. No, wait, that's not right. I wish, I wish he'd go away. All right. Now, this particular little track that I just made has a tremendous amount of background noise. I'm going to zoom in and show you what that looks like. Well, you can't see it too much, but I have a an air conditioner going right near me here, blowing the air in. I have a, another computer running, and goodness knows, I think there's a TV in the next room. So, first thing you do, basic editing, is noise reduction. This is called an effect. I, first of all, select a sample from a place where I'm not speaking because that's going to be my sample. Effect, noise removal. I'm going to take a profile. What I just did there was tell it that's my profile. Then I'm going to select the entire track by clicking here. Go to effect, same thing, noise removal. But this time I'm going to um, tell it to, re to reduce my noise by about 18 decibels. Sensitivity is zero. Frequency smoothing is 120. Uh, this is pretty standard stuff here. Next, I'm going to put remove the noise. Remove it. Oh, nice. Now, what I always do is analyze it, which I'm not going to cover here, but that's not very good, is it? I can tell you, that's there's a lot of noise still in there. As I was going up the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. So let's take another sample, noise removal, and re remove a few more decibels. Because like I say, this is, I'm going to take off uh, eight more. I already took off 18. I'm going to reduce by further eight. Now, what's wrong with this, this little As record? I was going up, up the, the stair, stair, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there today. No, no, he he wasn't there again today. I okay. This section here is bad. I'm gonna play it for you by highlighting it and then press play. He wasn't there today. No, no, he. Now I'm going to press my Z key. My Z key will um, select my zero crossing points, which means it'll make it without clicks when I do my cut. Come over here to my scissors. Cut that out. Let's listen to that now. As I was going up the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. I wish, I wish he'd go somewhere else. No, wait, that's not right. I wish, I wish he'd go away. Well, now that last go away is the right words, but it sounds terrible. So we're going to replace that. But let's listen again. I wish, I wish he'd go somewhere else. No, wait, that's not right. I wish, I wish he'd... I wish, I wish he'd go somewhere else. No, wait, that's not right. So, right now, basic editing means I'm cutting out the problem areas. This whole area here can be cut out. Press my Z key. Now I'm going to press my C key that will let me listen to this with this highlighted area removed. Today... I wish I would. Yep. So you see, it just skips right over it. Now I'm going to click that out, press my Z key, click. Now let's listen to it. As I was going up the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. I wish I wish he'd go away. Okay, I don't like that. So I'm going to record go away again. I put my cursor some anywhere in front of it, right here. Click 
this button, which is my record button, it will make another track, and I'm going to record it. Go away. Go away. Stop it. Now you notice I have original track, this track, and I'm going to select this, remove my noise from it. There we go. This is my original track. This is my new go away. So I need to get the noise out of there before I stick it in. Go get my noise removal. Select this track. Effect noise removal. And I'm going to kick it up to, let's say, 21. Because I know I have a lot of no ambient background noise here. Now, I've highlighted the part that I want to stick up in here. I'm going to edit. I'm going to copy that little piece of thing there. Put my cursor right up here. And press paste. Paste. Here we go. Pop. Now this section has been pasted right up there. Next I'm going to go down here and I'm going to remove this entire track. Watch. Click this X. It's gone. If I leave it in there, I'll listen to it on top of the other one and you don't want that. I wish I wish he'd go away go away so you've learned how to noise reduce noise re removal now we're going to cut out this section here we don't need that anymore once more you listen to it as I was going up the stair I met a man who wasn't there he wasn't there again today I wish I wish he'd go away well there's too much space between here so highlight that cut it I wish I wish he'd go away still too much let's increase that a little bit this this will make your track you, you zoom in on it this will zoom out zooming in allows you to make some nice cuts I wish I wish he'd go away now go back to the beginning as I was going up the stair I met a man who wasn't there he wasn't there again today I wish I wish he'd go away now it's still too much doesn't sound right I wish he'd go away good now when next thing I'm gonna do the last thing I call it well no not the last thing but the in basic editing you want to reduce your noise you want to cut out the bad parts uh, reduce the spaces between uh, maybe record a new word a new phrase and then I'm going to compress this. This spike here is much too high. I'm going to run my compressor and you can watch another video on this. What it does is it brings down the, the high parts but leaves the lower parts alone. As I was going up the stair I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. I wish I wish he'd go away. So now I can amplify it. Next the thing that you need to learn here, oops, can you see that? Yes, is amplify. I want to kick up the volume on this a little bit. And I'm not going to put it at 4.5. I'm going to put it at 2. 2. 2 decibels, basically. As I was going up the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. I wish I wish he'd go away. Now that's not a perfect track, but we have removed the noise in the background, or most of the noise. I have removed the bad parts. I've put in some good parts, uh, shortened the um, spaces between them. Okay, that's it. Basic Editing 101, and maybe I'll do Basic Editing 102 later on. Thank you very much for watching. The creator of this video would like to say that he is not responsible. No, that's all. He's just not responsible.